Hey, 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 it's Kev, Kevin, from JJ Hat Center. All right, I got the guitar, I got the hat. Okay, about 25 minutes till my son's bus gets here, so he's in uh, first grade. So his bus will be getting here real soon. Can't be late for that. All right, I'm gonna talk about today what to do with your hat when it rains. Um, the rain is something that is going to mess up a lot of dress hats. Um, what it does is it knocks them out of shape. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, it's not really damaged. Think of it as like a pair of shoes that need to be shined. Um, they're out of shape. When your hat gets wet, if it's thin, thinner felt, a uh, big floppy brim, Again, I talk about this a lot, a raw edge. There's more of a chance that the brim will be out of shape when your hat is dry the next day after a bad rainstorm. Now, it doesn't have to always be like that. Now, there are really simple, simple theories on how to keep your hat uh, cool uh, after the rain. Basically, the theory is they dry the way you leave them. So, like, uh, let's say your, your shape is, you know, two gentle creases and, and, you know, I mean, one crease, two gentle pinches on the sides from your factory. This is your hat stock, the way it's supposed to be. All right. If you go like this, leave the hat pinched like that, it's going to dry exactly like that. The next day, that's your permanent shape to your crown. So, in other words, before you put your hat to bed, when it's wet, before you put it uh, up in storage, what you got to do is you got to bring the crown back to its original shape. So what I do is I open it, I just pop it back. You feel those creases, you get them back where they should be. In other words, the hat shouldn't be squeezed in a weird position like this when it dries. It should be in its correct place where it should be. Okay. Also, the brim should be in its up position. Okay, so number one, crown should be set. To its original shape. Number two, brim, when it's wet, should always be up every single time, never down. Now you say, oh, well, I wear my hats down, though. I never do that up thing. I hate those kids that they're up. Doesn't matter. When your brim is down, it's not in its natural position. This hinge is dry and kind of bent. What you want to do when you dry your hat is you want to preserve the curve of this brim. That's called the flange. The way the brim has a curve to it, kind of scooped, this, this part here, okay. That is very hard to reshape once it gets flat. And everybody does this. Take their hat off, they put it down on the tabletop. The, the hat is wet, the water weight just, it makes it sag. And this curve, this scoopy thing, gets less curvy every day, it falls down. And eventually your hats get floppy, like, and they don't have a good snap. They don't want to stay down anymore. Because this right angle, boop, boop, has become kind of like flattened out, not a right angle anymore. It's just like, I mean, not, a, not right angle. The scoop, the curvy part right here, has become flat. And when a brim is flat, there's really no up or down. It's just in the middle. So you want to preserve the curve of the brim by leaving it in its up position and by leaving it off the surface of the table. So if this is your tabletop, don't do this, okay? So if there's one rule to taking care of your hat, don't do this. Everything bad happens from that, um, especially when it's wet. So okay, you take your wet hat in from inside. What do you do? Do this, flip it up, yep, okay. Yeah, check, number one, it's like check my crown, pop it back to its original shape. Okay, that's good. Number two, brim goes up all the way around. Number three, brim off the table. Now that hat's gonna dry nicely. What's gonna happen is the brim will dry with its curve. It'll harden like that. So the next day I have the option of going down or up. If you dry it this way, it, it just gets like saggy and floppy. And, uh, hold on, that's my alarm. My son's bus is not here yet, but that is my alarm. Okay. Anyway, getting back to it. When your hat is wet, flip the brim up, 
check the crown, take it off the surface of the table like this. That is what you do. Um, the other thing, I check my brim. I make sure it's not wavy. Go around, use my hands. Or I could even use like the surface of the tabletop, kind of like a straight edge. My hand is a tabletop. All right. Just straighten it, then invert it. What else? No heat. My radiator is right over there, so put my hat over there. Uh, open the window a crack or something. The heat makes your hat shrink. The leather band inside dry out. That's why you see the bands get these like ripples inside. I don't have too many ripples here. I'm taking care of this one. But, um, yeah. No heat. Upside down. Brim up. Crown back to original shape. Um, that's about it. Taking care of your hat in the rain is not that hard. Um, look, if you got to get it wet, get it wet, you know? Just uh, after the rain, just make sure you do the right thing. Flip it upside down, keep it away from heat, bring up, all that stuff. And um, let's say you do the wrong thing. Now, your hat's not destroyed. All you need to really do is bring it to a good hat guy with the steamer. Now, we do it free at my shop. Um, all you gotta do is ask, you send me your hat, bring it, you know, it's free. Um, what's the catch? There's no catch, uh, we just do it. It helps get people in the shop and helps people discover our shop, you know. <laughs> you gotta watch me play so whatever now if you don't like the plan you gotta just like bear with it if you like it hey you... Thank you.